for Utah. Right, thank you, Allie. Next month is National Melanoma Skin Cancer Awareness Month. And in honor of the month, and to kick it off, the Intermountain Medical Center will be offering free skin cancer screenings. Dr. Tanya Bowles is with Intermountain, and she joins me now to tell us a little bit more about it. Thanks for being here, Dr. Bowles. Thanks for having me. So why are you offering these screenings for free? We're offering them for free because not everyone has insurance that will allow them to go and get their skin checked. And this provides an opportunity for those who don't have insurance or who have poor insurance to get their skin checked for free. Now, is it just for those people who don't have insurance or are underinsured who can get them? We give priority to those patients, and so that information will be taken when the patient calls. Uh, but we like to keep it open for anyone who needs to have their skin checked. So really, it's open to everybody. Yes. And is it because you're offering these? Because obviously the, the awareness month that goes on, but our diagnosis up? Yes, so for the last 30 years, the incidence of melanoma has been increasing, and that's the same in Utah. So we have not found a way to reverse this trend of increasing melanoma, so the best we can do for people is to diagnose early and treat early. So you don't think people are really getting the word out? They're really not grasping on to this idea? Yeah. Well, we think the incidence may also be increasing because we're recognizing some of these early skin cancers at an early stage, and so awareness is important, and I think people are doing better at using sunscreen and being aware of the risk factors for skin cancer but we still see a lot of it so maybe it's that because we actually are people having they're listening more we're right. finding out about it more I right. suppose early all right. detection all right so obviously we want to stop skin cancer how do we prevent ourselves from getting it yes sunscreen is important for all of us as a habit of everyday use so folks should be looking for a sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher and use that every day every day cloudy days sunny days skiing down running around town because we get exposure to the sun no matter what we're doing and so if we get into the habit of using it then we can protect our skin every day of the year now why 30 30 blocks 97 percent or more of the sun's harmful rays if you go higher in SPF you get a little more protection but you still have to apply sunscreen every two hours so we shouldn't pay twice as much for an SPF of 100 so people should buy an SPF of 30 and use it regularly oh, so really the 100 doesn't do you much better and the four or 15 and realize you just throw away that's exactly right <laughs> all right so if people want to come get these screenings kind of give me some of the details when and where should they show up so this is going to be on Tuesday May 6th it's going to be from 4 to 8 p.m. at Intermountain Medical Center and we have a number available to make an appointment so that people don't have to wait longer than necessary and so that we can fit everyone in who needs to be seen and that's the number you see on your screen right there the 507-3973 is that Correct. right okay mm -hmm. So if you want to come get a, a free cancer screening courtesy of Intermountain Medical Center, we've got the information there for you to do it. Plus, we'll have a link to their website on our website at forutah.com. That way, anyone can, if you have any questions, mm -hmm. I'm sure that a lot of people will have them after these kinds of screenings. Yes. There you go. Dr. Bowles, thanks you for being here. Thank you. Nadia, back to you.